welcome to Monday. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. I am having a very slow start today. I need to do some dishes before I can literally do anything else. That's not good. Let me get this cleaned up a bit and then I'm going to make some coffee and show you guys how I use my milk frother to make yummy homemade lattes. Okay, so here we have my little coffee making and drink making area, <laughs> um, which I don't think I've ever properly shown you this little letter board that I got, which I've just put on. Um, I love it when the coffee kicks in and I realize what an adorable badass I'm going to be today. And then I've got these lights and stuff and it just makes it really nice. So to make my lattes, the things that I need the most are a mug, the cuter the better, in my opinion. I don't have a coffee maker, so I use a pour over cone with the bamboo filters, and then I've got a little bit of coffee in there. I am currently using this one, the Decaf Celebration Cafe by Allegro Coffee. I get this at Whole Foods. This was their holiday blend. I still have um, an unopened bag <laughs> for when this one runs out because I love it so much. And then I've got my kettle, so I'm gonna get that going. Put that on top and move that over to the side. You guys have seen a time lapse of this in some previous vlogs. And then I've got my two cup measuring cup. Uh, this one I like because it's uh, microwave safe. So this is how I heat up my milk for the lattes. And with the frother, so this is the frother that I use, it's the Powerlix, handheld, battery operated. You push this at the top, it comes with its own little stand. I'll show you that in action in a moment. But this thing is really good. It's really strong. So I don't need more than a half a cup because once I froth it up, it will be almost to the two cup line. And this mug is not very big. So I will fill this mug with slightly less than half of coffee. I put in probably more grounds than I need to make it a little bit stronger because I'm doing such a small amount. You could also do this with espresso beans if you wanted to. Sometimes if I want it really strong, I will make it in my French press and I will use these uh, decaf espresso beans from Whole Foods. I use decaf, obviously you can use whatever you want. Caffeine aggravates my fibromyalgia over time, so I save the caffeine for when I really, 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 really need it. Otherwise, I'm a decaf girl these days. So that's boiling. Around the time that that is starting to boil and it's gonna switch off any second, any second, there we go. <laughs> um, that is when I will start pouring in the coffee. And I kind of just eyeball it and know roughly how much is going to be kind of to the just under halfway point. And at that point, while it's doing that, I pop this in the microwave. And because it's only half a cup, it doesn't need very long. So I'm gonna put that in there for 30 seconds. We'll come back and check on this. And yeah, we're getting to the end of what's in there and in there looks about right. So I'm gonna let that just kind of finish dripping and it's almost time for this baby. I got this on Amazon for less than $15. I want to say it was $13 and some change. Actually, after tax, it might have been about $16, but it's still less than $20. I've been using it for about a month now. Obviously, this video is not sponsored, but one of my viewers, Jennifer, hi Jennifer, wanted to know more about it, and I have found that when one person, there goes the microwave, so I'll grab this. When one person has a question, Several other people usually have the same question. Um, that is my rule as a teacher, just what I've noticed. Okay, so now we've got hot milk, and this is just about done. It's down to the last couple drips, so we're gonna really quickly move that over to the sink. Get that out of the way, and I don't think I dropped any on the floor. Okay, so now I'm gonna prop you up on the uh, tripod. I need both hands for this next bit. I'm gonna move the coffee off to the side a bit so I can move this over. So I usually like to get it just hot enough where it is steaming a little bit, but there's still no like film building up on it. Also, I use lactose-free milk. This is 
what I use. I have seen reviews saying that it works with non-dairy alter milk alternatives, but I've not tried it with that. I still drink dairy milk, but I drink lactose-free, so I get the Organic Valley lactose-free. So this is technically still dairy milk, it's just lactose-free. But if you get it, try it with different stuff and see what happens. So I love that this comes with its own little stand that's really nice for <laughs> storing it on my kitchen counter. So to do this, you kind of, I kind of tilt the pitcher at a slight angle. I stick this in about halfway down and I just press the button at the top. Now this, as soon as you let up from it, will stop frothing. So you hold it down for as long as you want to mix it. And then you mix it. So as I'm mixing, because I'm not sure how loud it's going to be on the camera, I just kind of move it up and down while it's mixing and you'll see it kind of spinning and whirring and slowly it will build up the, the froth. So let's do this. And I just kind of keep rotating it around. Obviously I don't want it to spill out but you can see it does, it's pretty powerful. So it's already building up the froth quite a bit. I'll go a little bit deeper, but I try to be like just a little bit underneath the top of the milk. And it says 30 to 45 seconds, but we've only been doing this for like 15 and it's already, as you can see, at the top. So that half a cup has now built up a good amount of foam. So there's probably still a little less than half a cup of hot milk at the bottom, but then there's all of this foam at the top. So to clean this, super easy, I just turn on the water, I kind of rinse it off. If you do this right away, it's like, it's not a problem. And then I just press it to whiz it and it spins itself dry. So I saw some instructions to say, put it in soapy water, spin it, then rinse it with clean water, then spin it. But I've honestly never really had to do it. And it's still, there's no buildup or anything. So it's completely fine. So super easy to clean. So we're gonna put that back in its little stand. And now comes the fun part. Now we add this to the coffee. So you can see there's the milk and the froth is kind of settled on the top. And then we just let all the froth come out. And it's so satisfying. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one of my teaspoons back here. We don't want to leave too much of this froth behind. There we go. Oops, I spilled some. Did you notice that? I made a mess. And then this I just rinse out. And now I have an absolutely beautiful, perfect latte at home. This just makes me so happy. It is amazing and delicious. It's just, it's even better than at the coffee shop. And as long as I clean everything right away, which it's so easy to do, it's like it takes no time at all to clean up. So the power licks, the measuring cup, it's all ready for me to make another latte later in the afternoon if I want. Let me go get my computer pulled up and I will show you the actual Amazon page for this. Then I'm gonna get to work and start um, drinking my coffee. Oh, I need to get breakfast too. We can tell what my priorities are. Coffee, even though it's decaf, it still makes a difference. Let me get breakfast. Okay, so I ordered this on January 11th, so I have been using it for just under a month now, but this is the product page for it. So $14.99, so yeah, I think about $16 um, with tax. You can get it in red or in black. I got this one because it had four and a half stars out of over 5,000 reviews, so pretty good. That's the one I like. I'll try to remember to put this actual link in with the video, but if not, you can just search for it. Okay, so now it is time to actually get to work <laughs> while I drink my coffee, which still has the mountain of foam on it, so loving that. I finally have burned through this version of my winter white candle that I got at Crate and Barrel, so now I'm going to start this tin version of it. It's in a tin instead of the mercury glass, but same candle, same brand, um, and I picked this one up at Anthropology. I'm not ready to say goodbye to the scent. <laughs> so I'm gonna light that here at my desk. 
and get to work. But welcome to a new weekly vlog. <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday. I am at my place at the moment, but I will be heading to my parents' house in just a few minutes. Yesterday went well. I got some work done in the office and then went and taught class. Class went well. Classes went well. I had two. So those went well. My students, it was good to see them. Oh, I know what I was going to talk to you about. Yesterday, teaching wasn't the only thing I did yesterday. So yesterday, before I went to class, I had a therapy appointment with a new therapist. She's a master's level um, clinician, so not a PhD, which I've seen like everyone over the last several years. Really like her, really liked her office. I think I mentioned it, mentioned this briefly in last week's vlog, the office specialist. I don't know her exact type title, but she was, she's been great since setting up the appointment and helped figure out the insurance stuff so that I knew exactly what I was going to owe when I walked in the door. When I first arrived at the appointment yesterday, instantly felt certainly much more comfortable than the place I went to last week because um, this actually felt like an, a doctor's office, a medical office. And then, um, after I filled out some more paperwork and did the copay, all that, well, it's not a copay, but my out of pocket towards the deductible fee, the therapist came out and introduced herself, took me back to the office, and just instantly felt comfortable with her. Like, we're still getting to know each other, but I didn't get the weird vibe that I got off the person I saw last week, and like the initial feeling of things clicking into place happened. So that was good. But it's, first appointments are daunting because you're just literally vomiting out like your entire life history. Telling her like everything I could think of that she needs to know right now. So like here are all my chronic illnesses. Here's all the things I struggle with. Here's my history of mental, mental health problems going back to like 2002 and to now. So like the last 17 years at like mock speeds. So <laughs> it was a bit overwhelming, but I was also kind of impressed at how much ground I had did manage to cover with her. I could tell she was actually listening to me, which was another difference from last week. Part like she was actually listening to me, hearing me, responding well. Yeah, I feel, I feel good. So she's given me a small homework assignment for next week. I've now been talking for 14 minutes. Hopefully I will have been able to cut this down in half at least. Anyway, I'm gonna get my water bottle refilled. I think I have everything I need. I just need to throw the camera in the bag and get on the road. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>
and welcome to Friday. Did not vlog yesterday. I feel like, I mean I vlogged Wednesday but I didn't vlog Tuesday. This week I guess it's just gonna be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday and the weekend vlog, I guess. Tuesdays and Thursdays just run me over. I've had a very slow day so far. I'm just a cozy, lazy but productive bum here in my Oxford ID <laughs> with my messy top knot and yeah I'm choosing to focus on the positive things so didn't get a lot of sleep last night that's a whole other story <laughs> but yeah anyway I've got a flashing battery light so I'm gonna go and I will talk to you guys later <laughs> My hair is a little bit wild today. I slept with it in a top knot, which I haven't done that since cutting it short. And yeah, this is the result, but I'm I'm going with it. Welcome to Sunday. <laughs> I'm not ready for the weekend to be over. <laughs> Oops, mom's calling. Hello? Hi. Hi. Okay, I'll be down in a minute. Bye. Love you. Love you too.
Mom is almost downstairs. I need to go. Everything's ready. I just need to grab my bag. So I made sure that everything was ready before I turned the camera on. But I need to turn the camera off, get you off the tripod, put you in the bag. That sounds really awkward because I'm obviously not putting you in my handbag, but I kind of am. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy lunch at sink and I'm going to take you with me because that's what we do here. I take you with me wherever I go.